Congratulations. One, two, three, four, five. So exciting. We're thrilled. Yeah. How does it feel being part of something where, with this award show, they've talked about how women have dominated with this now, with the nominations. The fact sketch comedy is making such a huge comeback. Um, and you, you and your team, they're taking it to the next level, too, and bringing it what 2019 is all about. Uh, well, it's great. It's a really exciting time to be part of comedy right now. Like, I think Canadian comedy in general is having a moment, to your point, sketch comedy is. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really exciting to get to create and do the work that you want to do. It's such a rare thing, but, you know, in your life when you go, I have a job I love, you know, so you have to, to ride that when you've got it. How did you get into sketch comedy? How, how did it all work out for you to the level that it is now? Okay, well, I basically have no other skill set, so uh, it was kind of default. I, I really am not good at a lot of things, um, but I did start taking classes at Second City um, back in the day and uh, went through Second City training, did the main stage, and sort of just through that just became, just kept getting hired to do sketch again and again. I've worked on a lot of sketch shows as a writer uh, before this one as a writer, actor, creator, so uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey, a, a, a sketchy journey. Can you say that? Yeah. But with this particular team now, how did the, you guys all come together? Oh, okay. Well, how we came together was, um, so Meredith McNeil um, was living in England. She came back to Canada, and she noticed that there wasn't a lot of sketch happening in Canada, especially female-driven, because Britain has, uh, has a lot more shows at the time. And the culture in Canada at that time was like, don't pitch sketch. Nobody wants it. Um, anyway, she was working at this hour, has 22 minutes, and she met Carolyn Taylor. And Carolyn and she came together and Carolyn was like, oh, I know some people. So Carolyn asked uh, Aurora and I to be part of the show and then we got together and the rest is history. But how did you guys come up with the name though? I think that was Carolyn. She's always had a she's always had an, a fascination with baronesses mm -hmm. and we thought, well, it's kind of, it's the lowest form of, uh, the lowest title that you can have and um, baronesses in history have generally been kind of eccentric, do what you want, women who wear pajamas and drink champagne all day, or at least in my mind. So we thought, that that would be a fun title. But you, got, you guys have won before, correct? Yes, we have, yeah. How does it feel knowing, though, that because you've had so many other Canadian sketch comedy, comedy shows influence, like you guys, that you folks are now influencing the next generation of Canadian <laughs> comedy? It's mind-blowing, to be honest, because it is, I mean, um, Kids in the Hall are up for a Lifetime Achievement Award this year, which is crazy, because I grew up watching Kids in the Hall, you know, like Schitt's Creek is nominated. I was obsessed with Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy and loved SCTV so much. So it's amazing to think that we could have that influence on somebody else. It's great, because it's like, it really feels like it's a conversation, you know, that it's ongoing, and I can't wait to see what comes of, of this in the next generation of people who come up. Congratulations, and more importantly, thank you for what you guys are doing for Canadian Comedy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking to you.